Hey guys, welcome to Tony's These Autos. In this video, I will show you how to say WhatsApp one time image. So if you're wondering if it's possible to actually download WhatsApp one time image, then the simple answer is actually no. So unfortunately, due to the security measures that WhatsApp actually implemented in their application, downloading one time photos can be really hard, but we have a workaround for you. So the first workaround that we would suggest you to do is basically using another phone. So if you already have another phone in hand, the only thing that you need to do here is you just need to view your one-time photo and basically just take a photo of that screen. So basically you're just screen grabbing that specific screen that you have right now on your phone where you have your WhatsApp one-time photo is currently appearing. So currently that's the easiest way that we could do the WhatsApp one-time image download. So if you don't want to do that and you just want to view the one-time photo once more again, then there we have a solution for you. So here, first thing that we want to do is we want to open up our WhatsApp application. Now here, when we go to our chat here, you'll notice that I have one-time photos here. So how do you actually view those photos? So when you actually view those photos, you just need to click on that and you'll be able to see that photo. So let's just click on download on this one and just view this one. So here it's going to say something, just click on the OK. And as you can see, since this is a one-time photo, you won't be able to see it on my screen since I'm currently recording. But when we click on our screen capture here, you'll notice that it's going to say this app doesn't allow taking screenshots, which is what we just discussed before because of the security measures WhatsApp implemented in their application, you won't be able to do that. So as you can see, when you open up a photo or a one-time photo here, you'll notice that you won't be able to open up it again. So we go ahead and do the same thing for the other one. You'll see that we won't be able to actually open this up again. But the good thing with WhatsApp is we could actually utilize the backup for WhatsApp. So let's just go back here and our WhatsApp main menu. The first thing that we want to do here is we want to go to the top right of the screen. That's where the tree dotted icon is and in here we want to go to settings now under settings what you need to do is you want to go to the section where we can actually edit our chat history now i suggest you to do this before actually viewing those photos so what we need to do here is you want to go to the very bottom and you want to go to chat backup so what you need to do here is you want to basically back up your chats so first thing that you want to do here is we want to edit a few things. So here, first thing is back up to Google Drive. So here, set this to, set this to only when I tap back up. So you also want to set your account for this one. So click on Google account and choose the account that you want to use where you will be back upping your data for WhatsApp. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is just click on back up and your data will now be back up. Since I already back up my data, I'll, I'll be proceeding with the next step. Now, once you've back up your data, next thing that you want to do is you want to actually exit WhatsApp. Now here, you want to press and hold on WhatsApp and you want to go to app info. Now under app info, you want to click on clear data. And from here, just click on clear all data and just click on okay. Now, no worries if you clear all your data here, the only thing that you need to do here is basically just re-log in into your account. Since we save our backup into our Google Drive, our backup will not be affected when we clear data. So let's just go back here and open up WhatsApp again. And from here, let's just re-log in into our account. Now, once you've uh, started logging in, it's going to say restore backup here. So I'll just click on continue. And from here, just click on allow and allow. And from here, it's going to say looking for backups and it's going to actually say that a backup was actually found on your device. So here, just click on restore and it's going to restore all your data. And when we actually go back into our chats, you'll notice that the previous settings that we have on our account will be available again. So, so, so from here, let's go to our last message here. And as you can see, the previous images that we just opened is now also ready to be opened again. So let's just click on that again. It's going to say download, just click on download. And once done, just click on open again, click on okay. And you are now ready to review those one-time photo 
And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.